Now, since you're watching this video, you probably already know who Freddie Gibbs and The Alchemist is. Of course, Freddie Gibbs nowadays has been working more closely with Mad Lib alongside with some solo releases. And of course, The Alchemist at this point has way too much work to even name at this point. Both of these guys have been a part of some of the best albums in recent years. Now, I do believe this was a surprise drop. I don't recall any kind of build up towards the release of this album. Of course, Alfredo, Alchemist, and Freddie Gibbs collab project. And now that I have heard it, guys, this album is pretty much everything I would expect from these two. The Alchemist has been releasing a lot of amazing work and this album is no different. I don't even think I've ever heard an Alchemist beat that I did not like. And the same kind of goes for Freddie Gibbs as well. For me guys, I was not really on him from day one. I always knew that he could rap, but it was mostly the type of beats that he would rap on that wasn't really doing too much for me. It was not until he started to work with Mad Lib that was when I really started to see him shine more as an artist because he was rapping more on these, these, these sort of challenging beats. And now we have a 10 track album on here, just about 30 or so minutes. And I remember on my first listen, I was pretty surprised actually when it did end because I was really drawn into it. I definitely was vibing out. I did first hear this one in my car. I just let it go from top to bottom. I did not even read the song titles at all. And when it was finished, I was left actually wanting a bit more. Which, which is definitely a good problem to have. I didn't bother even checking if there was any features either. And to my surprise, there actually is a nice amount of features on here. Most notably Rick Ross. I really was not expecting him to be on here at all. Also, just a side note guys, low key, I think Rick Ross is actually a bit underrated. Despite his mainstream success, I just don't think he really is talked about enough. I do think he has put out some incredible music during his time. But um, anyways, we also have guest features in Benny the Butcher on the track Frank Lucas, one of the darker sounding tracks on here. I do love the hard drums that is in that track as it does even transition into something to rap about, the track with Tyler the Creator. A total 180 when it comes to the energy that is on both of those tracks but it still does mesh very well. And of course Freddie Gibbs giving us some very nice lines on the track with Tyler where he says, Lord let me hit this hoe so I have something to rap about. Been through shit with these hoes that I look back and I can laugh about. This shit wasn't no joke. Sitting in that cage, this shit was dragging out. Now I do believe this is a reference to a situation that he had while he was touring in Europe several years ago where he was actually falsely accused of rape and spent a significant amount of time in jail. I think like seven or eight months, something crazy. And this line really does remind me of his album, You Only Live Twice or You Only Die Twice, I can't remember the name but where he did talk about the situation a good bit in that album. You know, obviously a very traumatic experience for him. This is not something you really just forget. But now switching to Tyler's verse, of course he did a great job. Where on here he's talking more about his come up, how he did have to cut off people straight up on some hater stuff, and how he is looking back at all the work he has done and how it's all paid off. And of course, to me, most notably, how he did it all while being himself, which is very commendable. Also, the track Babies and Fool with Conway. I really love the beat on this track. Whatever that sample is, really is amazing. Of course, the track Skinny Shug, where Freddie Gibbs is getting pretty deep, pretty dark on this track as he talks about how he used to cook crack. Also, about how his uncle did die of an overdose. And Freddie Gibbs admitting that he probably supplied the guy that did sell to his uncle. You know, pretty heavy stuff. And he does go on even more as he does go deeper and talk about some of the darker stuff that has happened in his life. You know, even for Freddie Gibbs as the successful artist that he is, this is not something that you can just forget about and leave behind. But now getting to a more positive note, I really did enjoy the track Look At Me. I love the sample that is on there, what the Alchemist did really was amazing. Of course the track Baby Shit where Gibbs is pretty much just talking mad shit, just flexing, you know, doing what he does. And of course the closer track All Glass, definitely a great way to end the whole thing. Also guys, I do want to add that, you know, while I was gathering my thoughts on this album, I was kind of surprised that I didn't have as much to say as I thought I would because at this point, this is just the kind of level of quality I just expect from these two. Even if they do release an album that is as amazing as this, if not better, I'm just like, yeah, this is just kind of what I expect. I will say though, the features were definitely a great touch to this album, especially Rick Ross, he always does deliver great verses. Overall guys, as you can tell, I did enjoy this one, so go ahead and check it out for yourselves. But that's gonna be all for me, so as usual, thank you for watching, go ahead and thumbs up the video, subscribe if you're new, I will see you all in the next one.